Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades. If this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm so excited that you joined me today and I'm excited to show you what I'm going to be making. So sit back, relax, and I hope you enjoy the video. So today we're going to be working on this 30 ounce storyboard tumbler and I'm going to get it unpacked and you this comes apart so you undo the bottom and then just push that plastic sleeve off and I always put mine back together because I end up losing the parts <laughs> otherwise. So I stored that back in the box and what we'll be doing to this is going to get it sanded down and then I will clean it with some uh, Dawn dish soap and um, then we'll tape off our top and our bottom there. I'm using this kind of rough sandpaper and I just want to scuff the um, surface of the tumbler just enough that when I put the resin on it, the resin will have something to grip onto. Um, if you don't have that, uh, I've seen some some cases where um, people's resin just cracked and came right off. So you want it to have something to hold on to. So I'll be right back and I'm going to be using this thermal glitter which turns from purple to pink and then I have these pink stethoscopes and then I have some chunky opal glitter that I want to use in there. I may change that color but we'll see. Um, I also have some black stethoscopes that I'm going to put inside as well. So. I've already spray painted my tumbler surface and I use kind of a combination of uh, lavender and white and now I'm just putting a very thin coat of resin on the surface of the tumbler. Um, you can't get it too thick because if you get it too thick you won't be able to get that um, plastic outer sleeve back over your uh, steel part of your tumbler and so I want to heat this up just so that my resin is smooth and there's no like thicker parts some places and thinner parts others and now I'm putting on my glitter and as you can see the cup wherever my hand is on the inside of that and it it, it makes the cup warm I guess I got hot hands <laughs> um, it's already turning the cup Pink. So that's from the heat. It's looking good. I'm going to let this set overnight and then I'm going to come back and put a very thin layer of resin over the top of that glitter so that it um, secures it in there and gives me a smooth surface for my vinyl that I'm fixing to put on there. So I've got two different little quotes that I'm going to be using going to put one quote on the front and one on the back and just making sure that my vinyl that I cut is um, firmly onto my transfer tape. And this says, not all angels have wings, some have stethoscopes. So now I'm just going to pull it, and I went really slow. It looks like I, I, I just sped the video up for time's sake, but um, you slowly but steadily pull the transfer tape away from your vinyl because you want to make sure that your vinyl and all of your letters or your designs stay in place. So I have now turned it to the back, and I'm going to put this one on the back side. And the front one said, not all angels have wings, some have stethoscopes. This one says, on the other hand, 
I stab people for a living. So I thought that was kind of cute. So same thing. You just slowly peel it off. And then I firmly press down on the vinyl, making sure that it is stuck everywhere. And now I'm heating the cup up. And you can see when I apply the heat, that glitter turns pink again. But I'm just heating it up just a little bit because I want that adhesive on the back of the vinyl to make sure that it is firmly onto the cup. You don't want any little tiny place that resin can get into and lift that vinyl away from the surface of the tumbler. So after I did that, I put another layer of resin on, which I didn't video to um, save time. And now I am ready to put this back together First thing I'm going to do is remove the tape from the bottom of the cup. And it's stuck on there pretty good. I just It fascinates me how that glitter turns a different color when heat is applied. <laughs> and it's a little bit rough right here, so I just want to gently sand just the edge off. I'm not putting hardly any pressure at all. Just don't want it to have a um, rough edge right there. It's not going to show, but I don't want to leave anything raised up where um, my glitter, when I put it in there, can get stuck on and then won't come back out um, into the liquid that is going to allow the glitter to float. So what I'm doing now is I've mixed up a little bit of resin and I tinted it purple with some alcohol inks and I'm just filling that little well right there, that lip that is around the um, top of the cup, making sure that there is enough resin in there that it goes all the way around because when I put that plastic sleeve back on and push it down, I want to make sure that that resin cures all the way around and that there's no way that um, it can leave a little air bubble. So I, I'm going to just take my um, stir stick and where I sanded it, I'm just putting just a little bit of resin right there just to make sure that uh, again my um, glitter doesn't get stuck on that edge. Okay, so now we're ready to put the sleeve back on. And I'm going to push it down. And when you push on it, you'll know that it's locking into place because it gives you a little pop. And making sure that I had no resin that seeped out. And I put the bottom back on it and I let it set for 72 hours. So now it is ready for me to add the um, liquid and the glitter in, um, through the bottom of the cup. I think it turned out so cute. So we're going to take the bottom off. And instead of using the um, shattered opal glitter that I was going to use, I'm going to use the um, pink, the black stethoscopes, and then the grape um, chunky glitter and to get my liquid what I'm going to be using is glycerin and oil mixture I mean water mixture I'm sorry and it is 50 50 however much water you put in that's how much glycerin you put in like I said these are going to be the colors that's going to be in the cup I think this will go great I got this at Michael's it um, has both the pink and the purple uh, chunky glitter in there. And I think it would go really great with the cup. So I want to put some into a smaller cup. But I think what I'm going to do first is mix my um, glycerin mixture. 
So I have a little medicine cup and I'm going to fill it up and I'm going to put one, two, three of the glycerins and three of the water. And it's cloudy when you first mix it together, but you just stir and it'll clear right up. So now I'm going to just add all of my glitter. And I don't want to put too much glitter because um, if you have too much, sometimes it hides the design of your cup. I just want enough floating around in there so that it makes it interesting. And I'm adding these little stethoscopes. These things are all stuck together. It was kind of a hard thing to get them apart to get them stuck down in the side. So now I'm adding a little bit of the water and glycerin mixture and I'm going to fill it all the way up to the edge of the steel part of the tumbler just to start with. Okay. And then I'm going to mix up some more resin, just a little bit. And then I'm going to take the bottom part of the cup and I am placing the resin all inside the grooves where it uh, screws back onto the cup and then I'm also and I'm sorry this parts off of camera I didn't realize it but I'm also putting a little bit of the resin on that post in the center and on the lip of the um, plastic sleeve and then I'm tightening it up making sure that there's no resin anywhere on the cup and then I'll let it set for 72 hours. And here it is. It's all done. There's no leaking. It is so pretty. You can see the little stethoscopes in there. The pink ones and the black ones. And that white really shines against that purple. And the glitter, I really, I'm really glad that I used the um, raisin glitter. That's the color name of it, or instead of the opal, shattered opal. I think it looks so cute. And then I'm going to do the experiment and show you how it changes colors when you put uh, the hot liquid in there. It even changed colors just from the heat of your hand, but this is just really cool. So I'm going to got a cup of hot water and I'm going to turn the cup around because I think it's really funny when you put the water in there and then the, the uh, syringe changes colors like you're shooting the whatever's in there out. <laughs> it's, it is so cool how that just changes immediately. See how that goes right up. And then that pink is such a cool, gorgeous color. Look at that. And it makes the vinyl stand out even more. So these are not double walled and um, they will keep your drink either hot or cold for um, a little bit, not like the double walled vacuum sealed cups do, but they're still pretty cool. 
So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, please click like and share. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can do that now. And if you ring that bell, you'll get notified when I upload future videos. And uh, I just want to say thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Escapade. Bye-bye for now.